Assalamu alaikum. The topic of today's video is Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. The uncertainty principle says that if we are certain about one quantity, then we become uncertain about another quantity. Okay, if we take two quantities like position and momentum, so if we become uncertain about the position of a particle, then we become uncertain about the momentum of particle. Okay, simultaneously, this word simultaneously has deep impact. Like, if I want to measure the position, if I want to find the position and momentum of a particle at the same instant, means simultaneously, then I can only be certain about one thing and uh, I will become uncertain about the other thing. How is that possible? Like if I want to position, uh, if I want to find the position of a particle, then the momentum will become uncertain and if I want to find the momentum of a particle, the position will become uncertain. Or I, I can say that in other words that the product of the uncertainty in the position and momentum, the product, the product means multiply. If I multiply delta x with delta p, delta x is the uncertainty in the position, delta p is the uncertainty in momentum. And if I multiply, if I take the product of the if I take the product of the uncertainty in the position and uncertainty in momentum, then the answer is greater or equal to h. The h here is the Planck's constant. Okay. Or if I want to write this equation more correctly, then I will have to add 4 pi in the denominator with h. This equation is considered more correct as compared to this equation. This equation is considered more correct. So, Delta P is equal to M delta V. I have just placed the value of uh, delta P here, M delta V. So, why, if, why the position and momentum of an electron of a micro particle cannot be found simultaneously? Let's us, uh, let us just consider that there is an electron. Okay, this one is uh, an electron with a negative charge. Um, if I want to find the position of the electron, I will have to use a wave that has a higher energy because the electron is very small so I will have to use the wave with higher energy and shorter wavelength as the electron is very small I have I will have to use the wave of shorter wavelength to find the position of the electron and uh, shorter wavelength means more energy so if uh, if a wave strikes the electron with more energy the momentum of the particle is disturbed but we can find the position as we become certain about the position using the wave of shorter wavelengths we become uncertain about the momentum okay and similarly if i want to find the momentum of the same particle i will have to use the longer wavelength longer wavelength means less energy i will use i will have to use the wavelength of lesser energy Let, lesser energy has more wavelength and more wavelength means that the position of the electron cannot be found since electron is very 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 small uh, if i take the wave with a larger wavelength then we become uncertain about the position but we can find the momentum so as we move on as we want to find as we become certain about the position of the uh, particle we become uncertain about the momentum of the particle so this is uh, uh, what the uh, heisenberg uncertain principle is saying so position and momentum are inverse to each other like if we are certain about the position then we become uncertain about the momentum another thing that this principle also holds for other conjugate pairs what what are the conjugate pairs first of all you need to know what are the conjugate pairs the conjugate pairs uh, are the two variables the two variables are said to be conjugate if the dimensions of their product are the dimensions of h what in this means that uh, if i take any two quantities if i take any two variables like if i have taken energy and time the product has some dimensions which will be equal to the dimensions of Planck's constant. You know the what is what are dimensions? Dimensions uh, are uh, m, l, t. You have uh, read about uh, that in previous classes. So the dimensions of energy and dimensions of time. If I both, if I multiply this both, then the uh, product, the dimension of their, their product will be equal to the dimension of Planck's constant. So uh, I have uh, these conjugate pairs, so uh, like energy and time and component of angular momentum and its angular position. The first pair is of uh, position and momentum, another pair is of energy and time and another pair is of component of angular momentum and its angular position. So these are the uh, conjugate pairs uh, in which if we become certain about one thing, we become uncertain about the other thing. So significance of uncertainty principle, where is, where is the uncertainty principle applied and uh, so if we see that uh, no significance for large object, 
द अनसर्टन इट प्रिंसिपल हैज नो सिग्निफिकेंस फॉर लार्ज ऑब्जेक्ट इट कैन नॉट बी अप्लाइड टू द लार्ज ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू आर गोइंग इन अ कार यू कैन टेल द पोजिशन यू कैन टेल द विलोसिटी यू कैन टेल द मोमेंटम एट द सेम टाइम एज साइमल्टेनियसली बिकॉज एज यू नो दैट द कार इज अ लार्ज ऑब्जेक्ट एंड बाय सींग यू कैन बाय ऑनली सींग यू कैन टेल इट्स पोजिशन एंड इट्स मोमेंटम but if i take the electron the electron is very small and cannot be seen with the naked eye so uh, electron if we be, uh, become certain about the position of electron we cannot certain we cannot be certain about the momentum of the electron at the same time so i can say that the uh, uh, uncertainty principle cannot be applied to the larger objects while it is applicable only to the micro particles and microsystem so this was heisenberg's uncertainty principle